हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू अल्केमी अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म सो इन दिस वीडियो लेसन आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन एस टी रिएक्टर कैटलिस्ट प्रोटेक्शन एजिंग एंड पॉइजन्स सो मेनली आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन द रीज़न वॉट इज़ द रीज़न फॉर एन एस टी रिएक्टर कैटलिस्ट पॉइजनिंग सो फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग इज रीज़न वॉट इज़ द रीज़न फॉर कैटलिस्ट डिएक्टिवेशन देन द सेकेंड थिंग वॉट वुड बी द इंडिकेशन हाउ वी विल गेट टू नो दैट योर एन एस टी रिएक्टर कैटलिस्ट इज गेटिंग डिएक्टिवेटेड सो सेकेंड थिंग इंडिकेशन इंडिकेशन आई मीन टू से दैट वॉट आर द पैरामीटर्स दैट आर गोइंग टू टेल यू इन द एन एस टी रिएक्टर रिएक्टर दैट योर कैटलिस्ट इज गेटिंग डिएक्टिवेटेड दैट वी नीड टू मॉनिटर ऑन डेली डेली बेसिस कंटिन्यूस बेसिस एंड द थर्ड हाउ टू ऑपरेट योर एन एस टी रिएक्टर Uh, are your operating what would be the your operating conditions so that your rate of deactivation deactivation can be minimized or can be controlled so how to avoid catalyst deactivation how to avoid catalyst deactivation catalyst deactivation so these three topics mainly i'll focus on this video lesson as you know as what is the purpose of nht naphtha hydrotreating unit basically we'll get a srn or crn basically we have to hydrotreat the naphtha so what naphtha we will get naphtha that will be processed to nht unit naphtha hydrotreating unit and will hydrotreat the naphtha from that If it is the SRN state run naphtha, that will get from atmospheric distillation column. Will get light naphtha, hydro treated light naphtha, and hydro treated heavy naphtha. This light naphtha will be feed to the isomerization unit, and heavy naphtha feed will be the heavy naphtha would be the feed for the CCR unit. From this, we will get reformer. And from light naphtha, we will get after. Uh, processing into the isomerization unit isomerate so first uh, the purpose of nht unit basically to hydro treat so hydro treating reactions will happen in presence of the catalyst into nht reactor okay so what will happen over the time when you are processing the liquid feed what will happen your catalyst will over the time will gets aged and over the time it will deactivate so here mainly i'll discuss about the reason what would be the reason for catalyst deactivation into the nht reactor so you can see it here the primary cause of catalyst deactivation are accumulated accumulation of coke on the active sites and second chemical combination of contaminants from the feed stock with the catalyst component first is accumulation of of coke on active sites of the catalyst second contamination so second one how we we'll get basically the contaminants will get will get it from the liquid feed fish system we are getting see in fish system we are getting the feed from su light naphtha or srm cd we do we get su light naphtha we can get or naphtha we can shoot naphtha we can get from storage so total will come to fsd from here will get a liquid feed and feed from through feed pump will send it to the combined feed exchanger and to the charge heater and prior to combined feed exchanger your hydrogen will be added and it will become a combined feed correct so this liquid feed that you are getting in this if there is a impurities are there then it will go to the nst reactor and will cause the catalyst deactivation so again this impurities whether they are in the allowable limit or not so for that purpose we have to do sampling in sampling we will get to know that okay uh, there is a carry over of the impurities metal contains in organic components components are more are more severe Sulfur or uh, inorganic uh, organic compounds carry over is there. So with uh, with the sampling, we will try to rectify this issue by taking action at the upstream unit. Upstream unit means CDVD unit. But CDVD unit basically is uh, dis. Uh, it's a fractionator section. Basically, here distillation only will happen. Will take a crude and with the distillation will make a different cut. As far as state run uh, naphtha will get uh, then diesel component will kero will get okay here there is a no removal of impurities so how will tackle that impurities removal we have to change the what type of 
क्रूड वी आर प्रोसेसिंग विच कैंट्री क्रूड वी आर प्रोसेसिंग इन दैट इफ इम्प्योरिटीज आर देयर देन इट विल कम टू द लिक्विड फील्ड सो वी हैव टू चेंज द क्रूड टाइप वी हैव टू कॉर्डिनेट टॉक विद द टैंक फॉर्म्स एंड ऑल ऑफ साइट एंड वी हैव टू कॉर्डिनेट विद दम ओके वी आर गेटिंग प्रॉब्लम सो दैट क्रूड द क्रूड फील्ड यू आर प्रोसेसिंग यू हैव टू टेक एक्शन यू हैव टू चेंज द क्रूड फील्ड सो दैट इज द एक्शन दैट यू कैन टेक पीरियर टू प्रोसेसिंग द क्रूड टू द सी डी वीडियो एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग एस आर एन टू द एन एच टी यूनिट सो दैट वन इंडिकेशन दैट यू कैन अवॉइड ना सेकेंड इज एक्मुलेशन ऑफ कोक ऑन द एक्टिव साइड्स सो अगेन दिस कोक अगेन मोर कोक फॉर्मेशन विल बी देयर इफ यू टम यू आर ऑपरेटिंग द एन एच टी रिएक्टर एट द हाई टेम्परेचर बट मिनिमम सम टेम्परेचर विल बी रिक्वायर्ड इन आर्डर टू कैरी आउट द प्रॉपर हाइड्रोटेटिंग रिएक्शन इट नैफ था हाइड्रोटेटिंग रिएक्शन इन आर्डर फॉर डी सल्फ्राइजेशन एंड डी नाइट्रीफिकेशन रिएक्शन पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेस इज रिक्वायर्ड बट इफ यू आर आप सिवियरिटी ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज मोर दैन कोक फॉर्मेशन विल बी मोर सो अंडर दैट कंडीशन यू हैव टू मॉनिटर अगेन योर फीड टाइप द लिक्विड फीड यू आर प्रोसेसिंग इट इज ऑफ वाट नेचर है वेदर इट इज कंटेनिंग ओल्फिनिक कंटेंट इज मोर आर वट टाइप ऑफ फीड आई मीन वेदर योर एरोमेटिक्स कंटेंट इज मोर आर ओल्फिनिक कंटेंट इज आर मोर मे बी योर पैराफिनिक कंटेंट्स आर लेस सो दैट इफ मोर ओल्फिनिक कंटेंट आर साइक्लोल किंग्स कंटेंट्स इज मोर देन वॉट विल हैपन योर एन एस टी रिएक्टर योर हाइड्रोजन कंजम्पन विल बी मोर एंड यू हैव टू ऑपरेट द रिएक्टर एट द हाई टेम्परेचर हाई टेम्परेचर इफ यू आर ऑपरेटिंग द एन एस टी रिएक्टर दैन एट दैट टाइम वॉट विल हैपन योर टेम्परे इट विल एट हायर सिविलिटी इफ यू आर ऑपरेटिंग एन एस टी रिएक्टर एट हायर सिविलिटी टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेसर दैन यू कोक फॉर्मेशन विल मोर एंड दैट कोक फॉर्मेशन विल लीड टू द डेक्टिवेशन ऑफ द कैटलिस्ट सो दैट्स आवर टेलिंग तो मेजर दिस कंटामिनेंट्स ओनली मेजर कॉज ऑफ द कैटलिस्ट डेक्टिवेशन विच विल बी मोस्टली विद द इम्प्योरिटीज दैट कम कम्स अलॉन्ग विद द फीड स्टॉक लिक्विड फीड नाउ दैट अगेन दैट कैटलिस्ट डिक्टिवेशन कैन बी परमानेंट और टेम्परेरी बट परमानेंट लॉस ऑफ एक्टिविटी रिक्वायरिंग कैटलिस्ट रिप्लेसमेंट बेस्टली इफ कैटलिस्ट योर कैटलिस्ट गॉट परमानेंटली डिएक्टिवेट इन दैट केस यू हैव टू रिप्लेस योर कैटलिस्ट एंड दैट परमानेंट डिएक्सीबेशन ऑफ कैटलिस्ट विल हैपन वन वन एक्मुलेशन ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक स्पेसिज पिकडअप फ्रॉम द पिकडअप फ्रॉम द चार्ज स्टॉक मेकअप मेकअप हाइड्रोजन आर इफ्लुएंट आर वाश वाटर Mainly, it will come from the charge stock, or maybe from the makeup hydrogen, but mostly will focus on the charge stock. So, if your organ inorganic components carry over will be more over the time, then it will deposited on the top of the catalyst catalyst layer. Here, it will start depositing, and it will reduce the effectiveness of the uh, N H T reactor catalyst. Now. will discuss how to avoid catalyst poisoning so how to avoid that catalyst i told you the reason what is the reason for catalyst deactivation now i'll discuss i'll tell you regarding how to avoid catalyst poisoning poisoning so in order to avoid catalyst poisoning poisoning nst reactor should be operated in such a way that coke forming tendency should reduce so major thing is that you have to focus that your coke formation tendency is getting you have to set your nst reactor operating condition in such a way that is reactor temperature and pressure so that your coke forming tendency should be reduced and again you have to focus on the liquid feed charge feed you are processing to the nst reactor you should monitor that the quality of the feed you are processing if it is containing more heaviest then you have to take actions so for reducing coke forming tendencies in nst reactor one should maintain proper hydrogen to hydrocarbon ratio and by keeping catalyst temperature at a proper level so first thing that you have to uh, fix that you have to here first thing that operating conditions you have to fix proper so that your coke formation tendency should reduce and the second thing this nst reactor reactions will happen in presence of a hydrogen partial pressure will be taking hydrogen as a combined feed here for the reaction so this hydrogen partial pressure there is a minimum pressure uh, minimum hydrogen partial pressure you have to fix it and you should always ensure that minimum hydrogen partial pressure is there if it is not there then you have to increase the makeup makeup hydrogen or increase the purity of the hydrogen you have to increase and make sure that your uh, nst reactor a uh, uh, partial pressure is maintained at a level higher than the design N- uh, nst reactor hydrogen partial pressure 
सो नाउ आई वुड से दैट कि टेम्परेचर इज़ अ माइनर फैक्टर इफ वी से दैट इफ वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर डिफिनेटली योर कोप फॉर्मेशन विल इंक्रीज बट एट द सेम टाइम वट विल हैपन योर डिस रेट ऑफ डिसलरफ्राइजेशन एंड डीनाइट्रिफिकेशन विल ऑल्सो मोर your removal of impurities will be more but at the same time coke formation will be more so that's why we have to fix the operating temperature but what happens if at the same time you are operating the nst reactor at a higher temperature side for high severity reactions and at the same time if you are not maintaining proper hydrogen to hydrocarbon hydrocarbon ratio then i mean to say proper hydrogen partial pressure then it will act as a killer to nst reactor so you can read it here a higher catalyst temperature increases the rate of carb carbon forming tendency and a combination of high catalyst temperature and inadequate hydrogen is very injurious to the catalyst activity so major things that you have to notice the temperature in order to monitor uh in order to avoid the catalyst deactivation of the nest reactor temperature you have to fix optimum then hydrogen partial pressure this two then you have to keep monitoring the liquid feed a charge stock that you that you are feeding to the nst reactor if three things you are keep mon keep monitoring then you can avoid catalyst poisoning over the time over the time so you you can by uh, you can increase the cycle length of the nst reactor thereby so as of now i have explained you the reason uh, cause for uh, nst reactor catalyst poison or azing and what are the parameters that you have to keep monitor monitoring in order to avoid the catalyst deactivation and the indication i would like to say here while you are operating from the dcs how will you get to know that your nst reactor uh, catalyst are getting uh, deactivated so you'll see i told you if inorganics and all uh impurities will come they'll start depositing here so what will happen the pressure drop across the nst reactor will increase so you have to keep monitoring the how much pressure drop is changing so on the continuous basis you have to monitor the pressure drop if pressure drop is increasing it means that there is a problem problem is going to come into the nst reactor so prior to that you have to take actions so over the time what will happen definitely the catalyst will age over the 5 year 6 years down the line of 5, 5 to 10 years line then at that time whether you can go for the replacement of the catalyst or skimming of the catalyst if your only top layer got deactivated correct then what will do you will remove this layer of the catalyst only and you will change remove from the top of top layer of the catalyst and you will replace with the fresh catalyst here so this process is called skimming of the reactor so only partial removal of catalyst and replacement the fresh catalyst is called skimming of the reactor or else you can go for the total replacement of the catalyst so that's all for this video i hope you understood it well so guys if you have any doubt or any question you can comment it into the comment box i'll try to clarify so guys thank you thank you so much and if you want to know anything else about from this topic you can comment in the comment box i'll try to come up with the new video and clarify your doubts so guys thank you